All right, I don't, you know, Bill, I've only been married a couple of years. We still do a little bit of gifts here and there between the wife and I, but uh, obviously might be a little bit different in your household. What are you saying, Ken? I'm just, uh, I'm just asking. I'm kind of curious how Bill Grawl handles Valentine's Day. See, that to Day. me is like, you're kind of an older guy and you've been married for 20 plus <laughs> years, so how's the romance in your house there, Mr. Grawl? So. <laughs> Flowers, chocolates, anything, or is it just another All, Tuesday? You know, I, I will say, the, uh, we kind of do our Valentine's Day every day. You know, oh, it's, we, we don't need to follow the Hallmark calendar. So, nice. thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Tracking some storms for you. Uh, lots of rain for this Valentine's Day. Let's uh, take a look at the numbers. 45 uh, the high today, 37 the low. So well above those averages once again. 32 and 14 are the uh, averages for today. 56 and 17 below the records. And so far, uh, 0 0.07 inches of rainfall. But uh, we are adding to that as we speak with some rain falling in downtown La Crosse. 43 degrees out at the airport. Feels like 38, 45 downtown at the station. By the way, wind sustained at about 10 miles per hour, but they've been gusting over 20 miles per hour. In fact, Eau Claire, you're seeing a wind gust of 26, making that 40 uh, feel like 30. And as you can see, streets are wet. Good job keeping your headlights on, folks. That's what you should do whenever it is foggy, raining, or snowing. Anytime the visibility is impacted, especially precipitation is falling, even during the day, turn those headlights on so that we can see you coming. All right, temperatures in the 40s and 50s. It's no wonder we're seeing rain rather than snow. There's just not a lot of cold air to work with. It's well to the west here. Uh, over eastern parts, or I should say western parts of the Dakotas into the Front Range of Montana. Uh, current temperatures locally, coldest readings up towards Red Wing and Eau Claire, but still 39 degrees, so well above freezing. Uh, a lot of us are in the lower to middle 40s yet. And there's those winds out of the southeast, 5 to 15, gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour, and these winds will continue tonight and tomorrow. So radar showing bands of showers, and uh, where you see these yellows, uh, maybe some brief heavy rainfall. Uh, as these uh, showers continue to lift pretty much uh, south to north as an area of low pressure continues to spin down near Omaha, Nebraska here. And look at the size of this storm system with the cold front extending all the way down to Louisiana. So this is the first storm that's bringing mainly rain to the area tonight. And then this one near the four corners again, uh, this one uh, is tracking towards us for Thursday, and the best snow chances with that continue to be to the south and east. You'll see that on Sky Tracker. So Rain Tracker, first of all, showing rainfall totals maybe a quarter inch to a half an inch plus uh, by the time all uh, kind of winds down tomorrow morning. And uh, Sky Tracker showing those periods of rain tonight, lots of wind. Now there could be some snow showers mixing in uh, late tonight, early tomorrow, especially in our northern counties. Uh, little if any snow accumulation from that. Otherwise, clouds and wind throughout the day. And then heading into Thursday, that's when that snow chance starts to approach from the south and west. And you can see the snow kind of makes it into southeastern parts of the viewing area. Very similar track to that system we saw last week. Uh, so the heaviest snow again expected over eastern Iowa into far southern Wisconsin. In fact, snow tracker shows the best snow chances, maybe clipping parts of uh, Crawford, Richland, Juneau, and Adams counties, but better chances again down towards Madison with lighter snow near and south and east of La Crosse. But continue to stay tuned for updates and we will uh, track this storm closely over the next, uh, say, 24 to 36 hours. So for tonight, have that umbrella handy. Periods of rain may be mixed with snow showers late tonight, especially to the north and west. 37 for the low. Look at the high tomorrow. That means gradually falling temperatures. Uh, 37 to start uh, with that light precipitation early, otherwise windy with steady or falling temperatures. There's that chance of snow on Thursday, especially south and east, otherwise breezy and colder. 20s for highs on Thursday and Friday. Back in the 40s, though, for the weekend, but then it gets cold again heading into next week with highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Maybe some light snow showers or flurries on Monday and Tuesday. So a uh, pretty active week of weather, but uh, again, mainly rain with this storm system for today and tonight. All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Okay.